What catches on fire more frequently? Combustion engine vehicles or electric vehicles? And stick around to the end, I'll tell you my biggest concern about electric vehicle fires. There's a lot of discussion out there on what catches on fire more frequently, ICE vehicles or electric vehicles. And a lot of that revolves around media. The media likes to sensationalize these electric fire vehicles. Was that wrong? And to a certain degree, rightly so. The fire department spent a lot of time on scene with these electric vehicles trying to deal with the incident. And that's a problem. Personally, I would rather go to a parking lot, a car dealership with 15 vehicles on fire, standard combustion engine vehicles on fire, put those vehicles out. That would go much quicker than most electric vehicle incidents involving fire. But what does the data say? That's what's really important here. And if you start getting on the internet and you start searching for articles, looking at this topic, trying to research what catches on fire more frequently, most of the articles, if not all the articles, seem to point back to one data set that I've got up here on the screen right here. And this data set from what I can tell is pretty old. It's from about 2018. And if you look at the number of vehicles on the road in 2018, the number of electric vehicles on the road, uh, there are very few of them out there. Now, even though this data is older, you look at it and it's kind of tricky to understand what's really going on here. You look at the total number of fires on the right-hand side there. You look at the categories we're broken into, hybrid, gas, electric. Now, think about hybrid vehicles, for example. Are all of those vehicles vehicles that contain lithium ion batteries? Was the lithium ion battery involved in the fire? Was it the cause of the fire? Look at the electric vehicles right there. Same sort of question. Now we know most electric vehicles out there, if not all currently in operation, have lithium ion batteries, but did they cause the fire? If there was a fire in that electric vehicle, was that lithium ion battery even involved? So there's a number of things, a number of factors to look at, but then you start looking at the numbers themselves. Hybrid vehicles, 3.5% of hybrid vehicles sold caught on fire, compared to 1.5% of combustion engine vehicles sold caught on fire, all the way down to the fully electric vehicles at 0.02%. Now that's a really low number, and that would indicate no, electric vehicles do not catch on fire more frequently than their gas-powered counterparts. But there's a flaw in this data, and you have to look at it another way. Think about all the vehicle fires you've been to in your career. Are they brand new off-the-lot vehicles? Probably not. Most vehicle fires are 10 years old. They're 15, 20 years old. They're poorly maintained. Those are the vehicles catching on fire. You look at electric vehicles, how old are those vehicles that are catching on fire? practically brand new off the lot. We don't have many electric vehicles on the road right now. So that seems to indicate there's a problem to me. A lot of these electric vehicles, when they do catch on fire, they're a year old, they're two years old. Until we start collecting the data, we won't know if electric vehicles are catching fire more frequently than their combustion engine counterparts. Vehicles today are a lot safer than they used to be and we're responding to fewer and fewer extrications on these newer vehicles. It has to be a significant crash to have a patient trapped, to have some type of entrapment where we have to extricate them from the vehicle. My biggest concern is when we have a crash of this nature with an electric vehicle, the patient's trap needs to be extricated, we're gonna have a fire fairly quick in the incident prior to our arrival. And that's a big issue when it comes to electric vehicles in my mind. I hope I'm wrong in this area. I hope this isn't something that becomes prevalent with electric vehicles, but all the firefighters watching this today, I think you can understand the gravity of that type of situation. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and we can continue the discussion.